Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to share a sweet recipe and this is slightly you know famous in Andhra side. This is Kaja recipe. There are n variations of Kaja recipes and my husband also shared couple of recipes and today I'm going to share a very simple simple Kaja recipe which will be nice and juicy juicy. Very simple yet tasty Kaja. Usually they call as Kakinada Kaja, Katai Kaja, Kotai Kaja, a lot of different variations are there. So this is a simple variation which I thought of sharing this. I love this the most. So let's start how to make this dish. Very simple. We need only four ingredients that is all purpose flour, butter and soda and some sugar for sweetness. So what we are going to do is there is two step process. One is the sugar syrup. We are going to make it into uh, like our gulab jamun syrup. We are going to uh, make the sugar syrup and keep it ready. And to make the dough we need to take so one cup of all purpose flour. In this we are going to add pinch of salt. They actually use dalda to make this instead of ghee you know or butter. Dalda is little bit cheap so they use the dalda but when we are making fresh in our house I suggest use butter or even ghee. What I am going to use today is the butter. So here I have the butter. I have melted the butter. You can add for one cup of uh, all purpose flour you can add one and a half tablespoon of butter. Like how we you know do short crust method the same way we need to mix the dough with the butter and we need to make it into short crust. You can see the mixture is nice and crumbled now and to this we are going to add less than half a teaspoon of soda. After mixing the soda perfectly to the flour now we are going to add the water. You can see this is mixed and now we are going to add the water and we are going to make it into a not too soft, slightly soft like a chapati dough. So friends here you can see this is soft and now what we are going to do is we are going to knead the dough. So we are going to add very little of oil. If you want you can use butter also and now start kneading this and we need to rest this dough for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Now the dough is resting and by the time you know the dough rest we are going to make our sugar syrup. So here is the sugar. You can add one cup of sugar dear friends and add some water. Don't add too much water. We want the sugar to be melt and we want the sugar to become into gulab jamun syrup. Uh, not the one string consistency, less than that. Till then we are going to boil this and we are going to keep aside. So here is our sugar syrup which is ready already and I am going to switch off the flame and here the dough is also ready. We rested the dough for uh, 30 minutes. If you want you can rest the dough for more than 30 minutes also. You will get it perfect. And in this we are going to add very little of cardamom powder for flavoring. Mix this once. It should be like our gulab jamun syrup and keep this aside. And here is the dough and now what we are going to do is very little of flour if it is sticky and what we need to do is we need to make a rope out of it. So if it is sticking dust some more flour. Once this is rested don't knead it too much just make a rope like this and now what we are going to do is we are going to cut them into whichever sizes you want you can cut them into that size. If you want big small based on that you cut them and just take the edges. If you have a pizza cutter you can use a pizza cutter and this will be nice and easy. Now keep aside. So friends once you cut them this is not a layers kaja as I told you and once you cut this handle it very very carefully and dust very little of flour if it is sticky and put this on top of the flour and take your finger and slightly press this like this and roll it very gently. You should never press it too much and now put this in the oil. If you want you can make all of them and then drop it in the oil and the oil should be very very slow. It should not be too hot. It should be very slow. We want this to be sit in the you know bottom for at least 30 to 40 seconds and then it should come up and you will see it will puff up nicely. So I am going to show it to you one more. Just take this piece and handle it very carefully. Press it little bit and roll it and drop it in the oil. You can see this is puffed up perfectly. 
I am going to add couple of them and then we are going to put these once you get a nice color in the sugar syrup. So here is the sugar syrup which is ready. I am going to put this in a bowl. We are going to transfer this into a bowl and we are going to drop these once they are fried into nice golden color and we are going to let this sit for some time till you see this will soak and then you can serve them. So friends here you can see they are nicely colored as I told you initially you need to reduce the flame and later on once they puff up then increase the flame and cook it again till you get a nice golden color see like this and now when they are hot itself you can put the into sugar syrup if you want some more color you can fry them till you get more color and how we soak our gulab jamun the same way we need to soak this for at least three to four hours and then this will be done and ready to have it so friends here is our kaja which is not layered and you can see i added couple of them in the sugar syrup and this as i told you we need to rest this in the sugar syrup for at least for three to four hours if you need an excellent excellent juicy juicy uh, kaja then you need to rest this in the sugar syrup so i'm going to rest this for at least three to four hours and then i'm going to have this and i'm going to show it to you how this will look like so we are going to wait for at least four hours so friends here you can see our excellent kaja which soaked for more than two hours in the sugar syrup and you can see this is nice and crispy outside inside nice and juicy 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 in the last you can just sprinkle a little bit of sugar powder coconut powder or even some almonds you can just grate it and you can sprinkle on top and if you see inside also it's nice and juicy but these you need to have it slightly warm then you will enjoy it thoroughly so i'm going to have this this is slightly warm and inside also will be juicy juicy you can see the syrup is falling mm. inside juice it's puffed up you need to cook it in slow flame it's just like gulab jamun dear friends ah only thing we made this with all purpose flour and if you put these puffed up kajas in the sugar syrup it will observe and it, the juices will go inside and you will get an excellent excellent juicy juicy kaja i hope you enjoyed this simple session of making kaja recipe if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes